welcome to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I am one of the soap makers here on this channel. I apologize for the lighting and the background. We are in transition. We are moving mine and Kenny's filming studio into my house. And so lighting and background is all a little wonky right now. Probably will be for the rest of this month, but it should be looking a lot lovelier in July. Before I continue, there's something very important I want to discuss with you guys. It involves a poll that will pop up right now in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Royalty Soaps is changing the release day and time for August to better suit you guys' needs. We've had a lot of people write in, a lot of people tell us down in the comments that it's a very inconvenient time to be holding a release. Even though we've done it for months and months, we wanna change it to best suit your needs. So there are three options in the poll. Tell us which one is most convenient for you guys and whichever one wins out is when we will change the release to be. Two of them are on Saturday though, so hopefully that helps. For those who aren't royal VIPs, you don't know what this month's theme is, but for those of you who are, you've known for a very long time. If you want to become a VIP, I'll leave you guys the link down there below. You don't have to, but you know, it has fun perks and things every month. This month's theme is my 25th birthday. No, I did not come up with that myself. <laughs> It was actually my mom who suggested it, and it was relatively easy for Kenny and I to come up with ideas for because I like a lot of things. You will see lots of sweet things. You will see lots of kind of historical themes. There's some bookish type stuff in here. It's a big month of lots of colors and lots of fun. I also try a couple of things I've never done with soap before, so stay tuned. And today's soap is actually one of them that I tried something new with. I tried a non-pareil swirl swirl on top. I got this idea from another YouTube channel, Tree Marie Soapworks. I'm obsessed with this woman. I'm obsessed with her. She's absolutely fabulous. Her videos are so aesthetically pleasing. I can't get enough. And she did this in two of her videos and I was like, I want to try. So without further ado, let's make some piñata party soap. These are maracas. Now usually I would start the video by mixing my lime water solution into my oils, but I'm going to show you guys a few more details today. First of all, here is the design we are working with, with extra illustrations provided by yours truly. You can see we have a six color drop swirl. The fragrance oil we are using is Yeah for Yummy by Nature's Garden. This is a lush duplication of something, but I don't know what. And we have a special additive today of Kaolin Clay. Now Kaolin Clay adds a lot to soap bars, but it also notoriously speeds up acceleration, which I often don't need a lot of help with. However, it is literally cheaper than some types of dirt. It provides a really nice slip to a bar, so lots of people like to use it for shaving soaps, and it provides some label appeal as well. So for this specific video, we are going to show mixing up the colorants. I just had so many pretty ones, I thought it would be fun to do a little montage. These are, in fact, not made of plastic at all. They are made of corn and are a biodegradable, compostable, eco-friendly alternative to a single-use plastic. So going from lightest to darkest on the colors today, we have True Yellow, Orange Vibrance, Green Vibrance, Blue Tide, Reborn strong pink and really red colorant. And then separately, I have measured out the kaolin clay and the titanium dioxide that will not be mixed with oil, it'll be mixed with water. I'm now going to add a little bit of oil to each container and then we will blend with my little mini mixer that I got from Ikea. There are soap suppliers who sell them, but I have yet to find one that beats the Ikea price of a whopping two bucks. I'm actually gonna add the kaolin straight into the base oil. So let's blend. Just gonna go ahead and dump that kaolin clay straight into the oils here and I'll blend it in with a stick blender. 
Now that the kaolin is completely dispersed throughout the oils, I am going to add the lye water solution, but I am not going to stick blend it. That's right. It's the first time on this channel I've added the lye water in and I'm not going to stick blend it. Instead, I am going to use this silicone whisk. This is going to keep the batter really, really, really fluid. In fact, for people that like to do extremely complicated swirls, this is the way I would recommend you incorporate your lye water. Lots of very technically experienced Asian soap makers like to do it this way, and they hand incorporate their lye into their oils for every single batch, and I very much admire that patience, but I can only do it every so often. So I blended this by hand for probably two minutes or so and now that I can see that everything is sticking together nothing is floating or separating I can pour off my colors even after pouring off all six of these colors I still have plenty of batter left in my big container I'm simply mixing the color into these first because this is what's gonna take the longest now that all the color has been added I'm going to blend it in again everything is water thin right now. Oh my goodness, these colors are to die for. So let's add the fragrance oil. It smells so good. I'm gonna take a sniff. Mm, yes, it's like, I, I, I don't know how to describe this one. I will leave you guys a fragrance description right now on the screen because I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Words are definitely failing me. Okay, so the fragrance oil is in all of them. I'm going to blend them up and then we're gonna start pouring into our large slab mold that Kenny made me. So I've got my mold all lined and perfect and we will start pouring after this quick commercial break. We are adding a lot of the white in first, leaving about this much in our large container. And then with the blue, we're gonna pour some in just like so. And the green, same way. Doesn't really matter if it is getting on where the loaf is gonna be poured or not. Yellow is next, and I am picking these colors on purpose because they look a lot better if they swirl together in this order um, than if like green swirls with red. Now for some orange, just put that up in there. And I am trying to get a little bit closer than I normally would because like I said I don't want those colors really messing each other up. Get a little pink up in there. Pouring as close as I can. It's still bubbling up a little bit but not nearly as much as it would if I was pouring up way high. And let's go in with that red now. Pouring a little higher for the red because the soap of course is starting to thicken a little now. Got a little white now and I'm gonna break the fall slightly, well not slightly, quite a bit <laughs> with my spatula so it doesn't mess up those beautiful swirls I know we have on the inside already. And off camera I am scrapey scraping my big containy. Okay so let's finish out our colors. Everything has gotten thicker now which is great because it's not going to smear together and I am leaving some in the container so we can make that top extra special pretty. And now now that most of the soap is in, I can put some of this white here on top and then I will go back through with my spatula and just sort of ladle it, especially in the places that are very mottled with color because we're gonna go through and make those a little more distinct. Yeah, see this corner over here definitely needs white. I know what y'all are thinking. You're thinking, Katie, what on earth <laughs> does a pinata have to do with your 25th birthday? Well, I will tell you, first of all, when I was a kid, I loved pinatas. I loved them. We have got some really happy pictures of me and my cousin with pinatas from my grandparents' house, but they're so expensive that we rarely ever got to use them. But the other reason we are doing this soap specifically for my 25th birthday is because I 
really loved in high school specifically, Mexican dresses. I thought they were the coolest thing. And because I live in Texas near San Antonio and Houston, they are very accessible to me. There are lots of roadside stands that sell them. I know now that there's also a bunch of Etsy shops that sell them. My mom gave me one when I was in high school that she had when she was in high school that her mom bought for her. And honestly, I don't know where it is now. And it's very disappointing to me because that was like one of my favorite things. It was pink. It was awesome. It was embroidered within an inch of its life. And now my mother has bought another Mexican dress because she loves them so much. It's very, very pretty. And it looks a lot like that cake picture that first got me to thinking about this design. I also really like color, especially in a soap like this when it's just it's just all over the place and wonderful. I don't particularly like wearing color unless it's embroidery like on a Mexican dress, but in a soap, man, it makes it fun. Okay, so all of the everything is in now, so I'm gonna tap this down on the ground. Okay, so now for the swirl, I'm gonna stay pretty close to the top because you guys know it's a drop swirl. And I'm just gonna go on a diagonal slant first. I have no idea how good this is going to look. I saw this method on another YouTube channel whose name, of course, I am blanking on this very second, but I will leave their channel down below. And it looked so gorgeous. I knew I had to try for myself. I think I'm actually going to use this. But the design looked so gorgeous, I figured I needed to try it for myself. I'm using slightly different materials. She used a popsicle stick. Tree Marie Soap Works, that's who it was. There we go, I remembered. I can't wait to see more of her videos. She doesn't have very many yet, but man, she is so good at soap making. <laughs> Whoa, you guys, just mega whoa. I should do tops like this more often. Wow. <laughs> Let me take you guys off your stand so you can see this a little better. This is what it looks like without the glare. A lot better. And seriously, it's so intricate. I love it. Okay, let's put the embed on. Here are the embeds we're gonna be putting on that my sister Shelly, the empress of embeds, made for me. They're made using a lace impression mat and some melt and pour soap. And they are almost exactly the same size as my mold, which makes it quite easy to use. Okay, so the embeds are in, and I have this Sparkle Plenty Fairy Duster from Mad Micah's. I'm not worried about the little bits of soap, by the way, that are on there. Those can be cleaned up after the fact. It is a lot a lot more important that the actual lace embed is sitting correctly on the soap and isn't going to move or detach itself later on. So first I'm gonna start by just spritzing on the lace a little bit just to help bring out the details. And then I'm gonna very gently, not liberally, spritz the top of the soap because the design is intricate enough and beautiful enough that I don't even want glitter to take away from it. And now I I'm gonna spritz the top very, very liberally with rubbing alcohol. We do not want any ashing on these beautiful bars. And that's it, we're done with pinata party. I do believe it has been quite a long time since I have loved a soap as much as I love this one. The lace is just so great on top. So we're gonna wait 18 to 24 hours and then we will come back and split this slab into loaves and cut the loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. You guys, this soap is absolutely unreal. Look at that nonpareil swirl on top. Yes, I finally figured it out the next day what it was called. <laughs> I am living for it. I'm gonna pull one of the bars out of the middle 
And this is what it looks like on the inside. I have not done a drop swirl that I have loved quite as much as this one in forever. Also, not to brag or anything, but um, this looks really close <laughs> to my illustration. Again, I normally don't get that close because I can obviously just draw whatever shape I wanted, but I was really, really trying to go for accurate shapes in that, and I am not disappointed. Here's the bar up a little bit closer, and then also the swirl and the lace on top. Have I done pinatas and Mexican soap dresses proud? <laughs> I feel like I have. Now, for the very important question of the day. If you guys did pinatas as kids, which one did you prefer? The pinatas where you pull the string and like a lucky person just pulls the string that like lets all the candy out? Or the ones that you beat to death with a stick or a baseball bat? For me personally, it's no contest. If you don't get to beat it, that is not a real pinata. <laughs> But I wanna know what you guys think, so be sure you let me know by clicking the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. But seriously, I cannot with this. It's my favorite soap this month. It's also the first soap and the only soap I've done this month, so can I say that accurately? Probably not. <laughs> And that's about all for the pinata party video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you love all those fun colors in there. Truly, truly one of my new favorites. I'm gonna do that swirl on top so much in the future. If you aren't subscribed, you can by clicking the subscribe button, clicking the bell. If you like notifications for when we upload new videos, hey, leave us a comment down below. We have a whole bunch of new members of the Royal Court that just came flooding in right at the end of May, probably due to Sophia Nygaard's video about soap making. I thought about doing a reacting to that video. I don't know, is that presumptuous of me? Like, hello, I'm a professional and I'm reacting to somebody who isn't. I don't know. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, whether that is wearing a creepy cat shirt. This is my creepy cat shirt. It says, you're mad. Or organizing a very small area into teeny tiny containers. That's what I started doing back here with these and oh, it satisfies me. Either way, do something that makes you happy and I will see you guys Saturday? No, Wednesday. Wednesday. I'll see you Wednesday. Today is Saturday. I'm sorry. I'm losing my mind. And until then, bye for now. Meow. <laughs>